This year, there's a big focus on tourism-reliance economies, grappling with the cost of geopolitical unrest. Spain-based travel analysis company Forward Keys says Israel's war against Hamas in Gaza is impacting travel demand. For example, flight bookings to Lebanon fell 33% in the second quarter over last year. Bookings to Egypt fell 15%, while Jordan saw a drop of 31%. But the managing director of Jordan's tourism board remains optimistic about the sector's recovery. It is one of the main pillars in the economy, the tourism. So always we have plan B where we will support the tourism sector. I signed a lot of agreements with new airlines coming to the country where this will give more confidence to the, to the sector. And the most important thing that we have congresses and events will take place in Jordan from the international level. What is your message to the tourists out there looking at this region and saying, you know what, it's too dangerous, we just don't know regionally what this means. What is your message to the foreign tourists? We've been through different actions in the region and we proved to the world that Jordan is the oasis of peace. It is the calm house between the noisy neighbors. That's why we have stability comparing Jordan to other countries and we proved that. Talking about the numbers, yes, we witnessed a decrease in numbers for the last quarter uh, last year and the first quarter of this year. But people are still coming to Jordan. And look, the tourism sector is resilient and the recovery will be very fast. While the current situation in the region seems to be sparking concerns of a potential spillover, experts have found that some countries, particularly those that are reliant on tourism, are discovering new ways to keep the sector flourishing. Exploring different markets, for example, could lead to new opportunities. Research from Oxford Economics shows outbound travel from China will nearly double this year, and many of those travelers are heading to the Middle East. On the other hand, India's travel market is forecast to be worth around $143 billion by the end of the decade, and a report by McKinsey ranks the Middle East as a top destination for Indian tourists. Meanwhile, according to the CEO of the World Travel and Tourism Council, domestic tourism is on the rise, and it's among several factors contributing to the growth of the wider travel market here in the region. The people in your own country visiting sites and regional, it's very strong here. It's very, very strong. And the GCC, Middle East, is growing faster than any other region. Why do you think that is? Is it the product offering? Is it because it's, it basically is still a frontier market in many places where other destinations have been so popular for such a long time? I think there are two things playing here. First of all, Dubai is now very well established globally and people come here, they know it's safe, they know they can have a great time. I think the other trend is people are looking for authenticity. People are really interested to visit the area, find out what's going on. We're seeing revenue numbers have gone up by 50% and the contribution to GDP in terms of the amount of money that travel and tourism is making and contributing to the economy has gone up by 25%. I mean, it's very, very strong. So the whole of the region is doing very well.